Hello YouTube, uh, my name's Adam. Um, so I, I like to draw mazes. Um, I'll show you some here. I've been drawing them for a long time. An old bunch. Your whiteboard. So, if you're interested in uh, drawing mazes, um, usually I like to uh, start with um, I just shorten start with an S. I go to E for end. So one of the, the easy strategies to use is um, to always to start with two pass, have one die, go to a dead end, and then the other will go to three pass, and then two of those will die, and then one will go to four pass, and so on and so forth until you're filled up with pass, and uh, you have to draw an end. So I'll go ahead and uh, show that strategy here. Um, there's other strategies. I'll just start with a simple one for now. So, when I'm drawing mazes, I usually don't make any decisions about, well, I do decide ahead of time, like, okay, I want this path to die, I want this one to go to the next hub of paths. Um, I, I don't really, usually think about it too much. I like drawing mazes because it's kind of relaxing, and I think it uses a creative part of your brain. Um, but also, I'm, I like engineering and programming and things, so as well as creativity, so it kind of goes hand in hand, I think. Um, so, when you're drawing mazes, um, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's probably something that comes with practice, but you want the, the path to be long enough such that someone will not tell, I mean, you don't want it to end right here, because then they'll be like, well, I don't want to go that far. You want it to go for a ways and be a little bit confusing enough where you can't tell which path is which from the beginning. So here I just went back and forth and then brought it to a dead end. Okay, now I'm going to give this one a little bit of length. And this just comes naturally for me. I suppose it takes practice for people. Okay, that's enough. Okay, and now I'll bring this to a new hub. I think I'm gonna decide to put it that way. That way it gives me a little bit more room instead of having to jump down and around. Okay, so we went from two passes to three now. And once again, I mean it just kinda depends what path you want you want to go to the next hub. I mean, say for example, the path on the end is always a correct path. Well, you wouldn't want to keep on doing that consistently, otherwise people will will always know, okay, well it's probably the path at the end. So this is a guide on how to um, draw mazes, but also to make them difficult to solve. Okay. I think I'll let that middle path live. And what I like to do sometimes is, is to kind of like jut them out into space and then bring them around And kind of jut them out, come in into a curve, and then have that curve kind of, the path kind of like turn in on itself. So it's like a spiral, is uh, one way to, to make a confusing path um, that, that uh, people can't tell goes to a dead end right away. Okay, and then one of the other strategies I use is um, I like I like leaving the path that lives usually for last. So if I want this path to live, I'm probably going to make this one die first. Or I'll develop two paths simultaneously at the same time, kind of like right here. So obviously, if I want this path to live, it can't jut in front of this path. It's kind of like snake, you know, you can't, you can't go 
into your own tail. But you can still develop the pass simultaneously. And sometimes you can have a smaller pass at end, that's fine. Okay, so this path is still going. I'll bring him around here. Okay, that path's gonna live. This path is gonna die. Okay. We go from two pass, three, and now to four. Okay, and um, maybe I'll have uh, this path here live. Third one. Hope you can see this well. Get this camera adjusted. I'm gonna head mount with the GoPro. Okay, so I have this path to die. And I think this probably just comes with practice. There's a scene in uh, Inception where, in order for the, the woman to be their architect, she has to draw a maze that's difficult to solve in one minute. And yeah, it just it uses a part of your brain. You just develop over time. Okay, so that path's dead. Now I think I want this path to live. Eventually I can pick up the speed. I would I, would, I picked up this hobby um, mostly in public school. You know, I get to class early, start drawing a maze, give it to my friends to solve. It was just kind of fun. So once again, you want paths to be long enough where you can't tell it's a dead end from the beginning. Okay, so that's four paths. And now I think we're on the home stretch here. bypass. Okay, so obviously this is end here. So we have five pass and only one of them is going to make it to end. In this case, I could also throw in another tactic that's kind of fun. Draw in mazes is have the path one path turn back to another. Obviously you need at least three paths to do this. So here, this path comes around and goes back to the same hub. So it's not a dead end. Sometimes you can do things like, like, okay, you have two lives. If you go to a dead end, you know, you gotta restart if you run out of lives. Um, so in this case, when the path goes back to itself, you don't actually lose a life. And I think I'll have this path go. So now I wanna fill in the rest the whiteboard I have here. Okay, to the end. To the end. I don't know if anybody else has a hobby in maze drawing, but I can leave any tips or tricks if you like. All right. So there's the maze. Okay. And I think I'll try solving it tomorrow. I'll come back. You don't really want to solve a maze the same day you draw it. Um, because it's it's still fresh in your mind. It's it's kind of fun to do it the next day. So Maybe I'll make a video of me trying to do the maze tomorrow and splice that in. Okay, this has just been a simple maze um, creating guide. Thank you. Okay, so that's today. Let's do this maze. It's just kind of fun to do mazes. Should solve them later. I don't always have to think about trying to get the correct path. It's just fun to do them.
Ach. back to each other. It's this one. Okay. Oh. Well. I'm sure I forgot that. There's a maze. Thanks for watching.